perhaps the most important part of the BIM process for a contractor is the ability to receive 3D models to enable the contractor to do what's called MEP or overhead coordination. So for example, you can take an architectural model from a program like ARCHICAD, a structural model from Revit Structure, a mechanical model from uh, CAD Duct, a plumbing model from QuickPen. You can bring them all together in one environment and the most popular environments to do this in are products like Navisworks Jetstream or Celebri. Once all these models come together in one place, then the model coordinator for the contractor can look at all the, the, the models, do what's called collision detection, find the clashes, and then sit down with his mechanical, electro, plumbing, and fire protection people and decide how it can resolve these collisions, how to make all the MEP work. If there's a need to go back to the architect to maybe provide more space, for example, all these things can be decided before the key thing is before construction starts. Because once construction starts and you have to tear stuff out and do rework in order to make things fit properly, make systems fit properly in the building, that becomes very expensive and time consuming and very costly to the, uh, to the owner. So by doing MEP and overhead coordination before construction enables the project to move along much more smoothly and to keep costs under control. Another thing that contractors are wanting more and more to be able to do is 3D detailing, creating shop drawings, visualization uh, environments, so that they can see more clearly aspects of the construction, especially very intense aspects of construction in 3D, and figure out the best way to build that on the site. That capability with 3D modeling is very good, becoming more and more important to contractors. The construction sequencing, or what's called 4D, is another very important aspect of the BIM process that contractors are starting to take advantage of more and more. You can do construction sequencing, in other words, adding time, create animations literally that, that will build the building week by week or even day by day to, to use as a sales tool to win the jobs, but more importantly to watch that that building be built in time so if there's any potential problems in terms of scheduling things like cranes, materials delivery, etc., etc., you can you can see how all these things come together so you can plan for them properly. So this is another very important aspect of the BIM process, construction sequencing or what, are, what we call 4D, uh, watching that building go together in time, very important for contractors. And the last thing is what's called 5D, or the element of money, using the 3D model, very detailed, in this case, 3D model, for doing very accurate and complete estimates. So the constructability model for MEP, being able to do 3D detailing, construction sequencing, building that model in time, and estimating 5D, adding the money component, these are all modern methods that are being adapted by contractors all over the U.S.